Oh, oh, how you doing? Uh, hi, Wendy. My name is Shamika. How you doing? You're really a cute girl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so what's going on? Um, so I have a male friend that I've known for o over four years now, and his current girlfriend really doesn't like me. Um, I've known him for longer than he's been with her. And recently she sent me a, a message on Facebook, and the message she, in the message she called me the B word. Whoa. Yep. And she told me to never speak to her man again. So I want to know if I should message her back or should I talk to my friend about it? Mm. Okay. How old are you? I'm 24. Okay. And so he's like your age also? Yeah. No, he's 25, but okay. she's like 21. She's okay. a kid. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> And you look better than her, clearly. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just assuming this is a very cute girl, right? This is, this, is a, this is a situation. But if I were you, I would talk to your male friend. And I would also send, show him that message mm -hmm. and let him make the call as to what he wants to do. 24 is too young to be dropping friends. Right, you wait yeah. until you're 44 for that. Yeah. You know, or, th or 34. Like, yeah. like, 24 is too late to be dropping friends for the opposite sex or the purpose of dating. Right. Yes. Um, so I would show your friend. Okay. All right. Very All right. well. Thank have you, you have you ever kissed him? No. Oh no. Hugged him? Yeah, of course. That's my friend. I hug him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Talk to your friend and 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 show the the message. Okay. okay. Thank All right. You. Very well. What? Wow. That's the biggest side eye I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Amy, and I actually stopped drinking three years ago to cut down on calories. Good news is I lost 40 pounds. Good for you. Thank you. Bad news is my friends keep excluding me from, from fun parties and events, and I have oh. to find out on social media. Total bummer. I've always been the life of the party, still am, just sober. Yeah. How do I get them to stop excluding me from the fun? Talk to them like you're talking to me. I, I think most of us in this audience, I know I do, I have a friend who's never had a drink or a smoke or nothing in her life, but she's still kooky, and so she's not excluded. So talk to your friends and make them understand, okay? Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, Hi, Wendy. My name is Delma. How Hi, Delma. you doing? How you doing? My husband and I are newlyweds, and we have separate bank accounts. He wants me to uh, have a joint account with him now, and mm -hmm. but I'm not sure because the money I have in my account is money I saved before our marriage, and I don't want him to know everything I do. What should I do? Um, open a joint account with him, but start from square one as of, like, today. Like, when you leave the show, yeah. deposit $5. And, uh, you know, and, oh, and, oh. and keep my account. And, and by the way, Delma, yeah. it is very important because, you know, sometimes we go into the bank and the bank tellers get real open with our stuff. So all of a sudden, you know, he can find your balance with an open bank. Why am I holding you like this? You know why? Support. Because my mom explained so well to me about money. I mean, it's one of the best things when a woman can pass that on to her daughter. But what I'll say to you is mm -hmm. take your money and keep it where it is. You guys do your joint account at the bank with a different name all the way across town. Do okay. you understand? Yes, thank you. Very so good. Much. Very well. All right. I've been with my boyfriend about two, three years. Okay. Um, he stays over my house about two, three times a week. I don't have a television, but I want to buy a what? TV. <laughs> How do you know about our show? Well, I go over to my neighbor's house, or our friend's house. <laughs> and then I, I want to buy a TV, and I want to get cable. I want him to contribute about $100 towards the bill. Am I wrong to ask him? No. I'm so shocked you have no, there's no TV, there's no TV anywhere in the house. I have one, but I watch DVDs on it sometimes. DVDs. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with that. How long have you been with your boyfriend? Two to three years. About oh, two and a half a years. Place. He, as a matter of fact, let him buy the TV okay. and pay the cable bill. Yes. Thank How you. How about that? Okay. You look beautiful, by the Thank way. You. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. How can I help? Uh, my name is Barbara, and I started seeing a guy back in December, and we were hooking up. And then things just kind of fizzled out, and now he has a girlfriend, and I really want him back. So, should I tell him or just wait until they break up? <laughs> okay. People get me so confused with hooking up versus having a relationship. Like, you said hook up. Hooking up means sex. He was not yours to... No, he, but... That's, he, didn't she say hook up? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
He, he's hot and the sex was good. Okay, so yeah, no, hook up. no, yes. no. There's nothing wrong with hooking up. <laughs> but just keep in mind, if he wanted to claim you for a girlfriend, he would have at that time. He doesn't want you like that. Okay. Hun. So don't don't um, tell him how you feel because he already had a chance for him for, for uh, this to happen. Okay. He used you for sex, uh, but you used but him too. But here's the thing: we are good friends. Okay. So are we? You know, it seems like there's something there. No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm sorry. I try to give it to you straight. It's only a one hour show. <laughs> Listen, dear. The reason, the reason that I know that there's nothing there is because if there was, he would have made it more pronounced back in December when you guys were hooking up. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with hooking up. We've all been there at some point in our lives. <laughs> but you gotta know the difference between a hookup and somebody who you really want as a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Okay. All right. Thank you, I'm Wendy. I'm sorry. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name's Chanel. How you doing? Good. So I have a friend, and I love her to death. She loves to hang out with me. But she doesn't have a job, and she doesn't have a car, and I'm always driving her places. And every time she gets in my car, she has something new. So what should I do? Call her out on it. Should I? How, I, long, I mean, how long has it been since she's been not worked? A while. <laughs> how is she buying new clothes? I don't, that's the thing, I don't know. Because <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that the clothes are expensive, but mm -hmm. anything new when you don't have a job is suspect, especially when she, I take it, not offering for gas? Not offering. Would yeah. never pick up the tip? Mm. How long have you been friends with her? Since high school. Yeah, well, how long have you been out of high school? <laughs> Three years. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the t first tough lesson from your old Aunt Wendy. <laughs> You call her to the carpet on this, and okay. she might catch an attitude and not want to be your friends anymore. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Okay. Right, thank you. You're very welcome. How you doing? Oh, you doing? You're very well. How can I help? Great. Um, well, my husband has been dressing the same way since we got married 17 years ago. Okay. And I liked it back then, but uh -huh. it's getting a little stale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, he's got, like, these Velcro sandals that he wears everywhere. He brought them to New York with us, yes. And he's wearing them to plays and everywhere else, and oh. I just don't know what to do. I buy him clothes. He doesn't want to wear them. Oh. Leaves them in the closet. Any advice? Can I get rid of them? You're not changing him. I'm not changing him. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, he is who he is. Yeah. You knew that 17 years ago. I did. And, you know, you're not going to change him without making him resent you and hurt his feelings. I don't believe in changing people. Um, I believe in manipulating. Oh, good. Can I do that? Yes, well, yeah. you can manipulate him, like, like, you, like on date nights. Oh. You, you guys still have date nights? Well, sure. Oh, well, on, <laughs> we could. On date nights, maybe you make a particular request. Okay. You know, but other than that, 99.9, .9, you, you ain't going to change the lug. And you love uh, him. I do. I do love him. Then there you go. There we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Erin. How you doing? Hi, Erin. How can I help? Um, I have a friend, longtime friend since college, and she recently just started painting her eyebrows on really thick. Every time I see her, they're thicker and thicker. <laughs> we pride ourselves on like giving real friendly feedback, but I, I'm just a little scared that I'm going to hurt her feelings. What do you think I should do? Bite your tongue. Okay. I mean, you know, I say a lot with my opinion here on the show, but in real life, I'm really not about hurting people's feelings in real life. If, if I feel as though a friend needs to lose weight, I'm not going to say it. If I feel as though that dress looks horrible, I'm not going to say it. I don't know. I just feel that it's unnecessary to say to her. You know? Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you. Very well. Hi. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Good. My name is Catherine. I have two daughters, ages 34 and 35. Okay who are no longer talking because of a misunderstanding. Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, so now with the holidays upon us, I would like to try and mend this relationship. They can even be in the same room at time and not even talk to each other. You're having so, food at your house and yeah, then they'll be there, but they Yeah, I always have Thanksgiving and Christmas at my house, yeah. and they're not speaking right now. Do you mind so me I'm asking the nature of the argument? Um, it was an a ex-boyfriend from many years ago. Yeah. So now, you know, they're not speaking well, with each other. Well, did one sleep with the other's ex-boyfriend? No. Was it something no. like that? There was no, okay. no sleeping at all that was involved. It was just a <laughs> Yeah. No. Well, well, Mom, maybe you can get involved by talking to each of your girls. Yeah. Try to make your eyes water or squeeze a little wet rag, little you know. And, and do, <laughs> do, do a little cry. Do a little cry, cry. Onions. Yes. And <laughs> let them know, you know, nobody's getting younger and you are getting yeah. older. And it, that boy has probably forgotten about them. Yeah. You know, do, do if, your yeah. best. I will. You're lucky Thank that you they're so able much. to be in the same room, though, because oh, well. a lot of fights, you know, they're not even the same planet. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, we try to keep the family together that way because there's grandkids and everything yeah. else involved. But. Keep trying, Mom. Never Thank give you up so on your much, girls. Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? This looks like something right out of my wardrobe. Really? Yes. I you know it. I love um, a skater dress. Yes. Count yes. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. I, I have a roommate, right? So I got this roommate because a friend of a friend needed a place to stay and I needed a roommate. So she has a boyfriend, a boyfriend who comes over pretty often and he has a tendency to look at me a little too long and smile at me just a little too hard. Okay. Well, we were in the kitchen one day and he hugged her and then winked at me. Oh. So I don't want my roommate to think I'm trying to sabotage her relationship. So should I tell her? No. Um, you should tell him about himself when she's not around. And don't smile and don't look all around the room and don't talk with your hands. Look of at him course. directly in the eye, lead with your pinky. Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Serious business. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yep, exactly. And, and by the way, save the clip from this Ask Wendy in case you need it as backup later on down the line. Right, right. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. How are you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name's Jamie Lynn. How are you doing? How are you doing, Jamie Lynn? Good. How are you? So my ex-boyfriend was in a relationship, but he was messing around with me the whole time. So they recently broke up, and he's interested in getting back together with me. But I don't know if I can trust him to be loyal in a relationship. So what should I do? Well, he cheated on his girlfriend with you. So the likelihood of him cheating on you with somebody else is probably 70%. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a 30% chance that, you know, you know, you choose the wrong person yeah. sometimes in life, and then you end up with the person that you cheated with. But mm -hmm. that's like a 30% thing. So there's a 70% chance. Uh, okay. How old are you? 22. Too young to be going through any of this drama. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, my God. Hi. I love the sliver. Thank you. How you doing? How you doing? Um, me and my boyfriend been together for a year and a half. Okay. And we are planning to move in together in May. I have a five-year-old daughter, and um, it's only been the two of us. So how do I tell her that we'll be moving in with him? You don't move in. Oh. You've been with him for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Your five-year-old daughter is way too impressionable. Right. Don't be a Mimi. <laughs> Which would be a woman who is exposing her girl to way too much. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, let him move across the street or in the same building. But don't, don't, don't move in with him. It's too soon. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Wendy. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. How can I help? I'm Teresa from Connecticut. So, I was married uh, three years ago, and one of my dear friends from high school didn't come to the wedding. She called the day of and said she was sick. Um, so I was really upset, and now she's trying to reach out to me again, and she wants to be my friend. I want to be her friend, but my husband doesn't trust her. He doesn't think it's a good idea. So what do you think? Do you think I should give her a How second chance? How do you know chance? she wasn't sick? Um, because a week after that, um, she was, she just had bought a house and she invited us to her housewarming and uh -huh. expected us to come to her housewarming. Uh -huh. And my husband said, no, I don't think we should go because she didn't come well, to our wedding, you know? Yeah, but when you're sick, sometimes you're not sick for a whole week. You know how you get that 24, 48 yeah. hour flu? I would give her the benefit of the doubt. Did she give you a nice gift? She never sent a gift. <laughs> she didn't say she was sorry either. Oh. So, so that kind of puts another level to it. Okay. I love her dearly, but it just it kind of. All it right. Hurt. Well, here's what you it do. Hurt. Here's what you do. You yeah. don't have to share this with your husband because he's going to okay. continue to talk you out of it. Yeah. Um, you have a sit and sip with her. A see and yeah. sip. You okay. know, you go see her mm -hmm. out at you know some local restaurant, just the two of you, and okay. you tell her exactly what you're telling me, and make sure that she understands that it's a Dutch lunch. It's not, you know, make sure she understands the parameters. And, and um, tell her exactly what you said to me. The worst that could happen is you walk out of there without the friend that you wanted back anyway. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Very well. Good Thank luck. You. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Tony. How you doing? How you doing, Tony? <laughs> Wendy, my daughter recently had a baby, so I'm a glamma for the very first time. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. My problem is, her husband is complaining to me already about the sex life. It's been two months. Okay. 
and he thinks she's always busy with the baby, and he wants me to speak to her. Is, is that my place to speak to my daughter, or do I Well, now? first of all, all the doctors tell us wait at least six weeks, so you know that part. Have you had that conversation with him? Yeah, it's eight weeks. Is it eight weeks? <laughs> no, no, it's eight weeks. Oh, I, I, He's done with that conversation. I was told six. Okay, so it's, it's eight weeks that the doctor told yeah. her to wait? And she's only a few weeks into this? Yeah. So why don't you tell him that? You know what I mean? That's the reason. Just tell him that. D yes. D <laughs> Tony, don't be scared. Don't, don't be, be scared. scared. Men aren't having the babies. They don't know unless we tell them. And by the way, and by the way, he needs to go with her in a couple of weeks when she goes to the doctors to get the baby checked on. And then the doctor needs to have a heads up that, he, that he, the doctor needs to tell the husband that she has to wait eight weeks. Now, if there's a problem after that, only this one time. I would say, talk to your daughter about um, how she's got to be a full woman now. It's got to be the sex, and it's got to be the baby, and she's got to... You know what I mean? But not before eight weeks. Okay. You follow? Yes. All right, Tony. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Very well. How can I help? Well, I just recently graduated nursing school, and my boyfriend thinks I'm a pretty hot nurse, so he is concerned that the male doctors and physicians and stuff will be hitting on me. So, how do I convince him that my new work environment will not be a threat to our relationship? First of all, <laughs> congratulations on graduating Thank from nursing school. Thank you very school. much. And yes, you are a hot nurse. Thank you. <laughs> and your boyfriend will not be the only guy checking you out. But like I always say, nobody wants to be with somebody who nobody else wants. That is true. So he should be happy. However, um, I'm not going to advise you to do anything antiquated or silly, like bring your boyfriend to the nurse's station. <laughs> you know, like you're not five years old. No. You're a grown, accomplished woman. If your boyfriend... Oh, and by the way, I also realize as a nurse that your cell phone will probably be in your locker more than it will be on your person because yes. cell phones are germy and you've got patience. So mm -hmm. when he tries to blow up your phone to find out where you are, mm -hmm. you won't be able to answer. <laughs> the only thing that you can do... How long have you been with him? Nine years. Okay. The, all, it, the only, if, I mean, if he doesn't trust you by now, he ain't oh, never going to trust you. Yeah. But it's a new career change. No, so. I get it. Listen, uh, the only thing you can do is reassure him outside of the nurse's station at home. Let mm -hmm. him know, you know, that you love him. Answer your phone when he calls and you're in the grocery store. You know, push his hair from his face. <laughs> you know, but, um, and by the way, the Christmas party might not have a plus one invitation, which means you'll be going to that without him also. Mm -hmm. So, well, a lot of times, <laughs> as a working person, a lot of times your Christmas parties don't have a plus one. The holidays are coming, and that's something to think about. Mm -hmm. um, the only way you can uh, uh, convince him is just to convince him. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Good. How can I help? <laughs> Hi, my name is LaShern. I'm 39 years old. I'm dating someone I've been seeing for, so, for a while. He's seven years younger than me. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have four kids. He has none. Recently, I invited him over for dinner, and the kids noticed that he was a little bit nervous. So one of my daughters said, uh, mom, you know. How old was that daughter who said mom? She's 10. Okay. So, so she, picked um, she picked up on it right away. So I wanted to know, how can, what can I do to make him more comfortable around the kids when he comes over? Well, how long have you been seeing him? You said a while. I've seen him for a while. We've, I've known him for years. Uh -huh. We just decided to get serious and see each other. Okay. So I'm just wondering. When you say a while, how long is a while? Like three months. Three months. Yeah. I, I mean, it's a little soon to have him over at the house with the kids, especially because they're so impressionable. Right. One is 10, and one is... How old are the other ones? Well, I have twins that are 10. Okay. 11-year-old and 8-year-old. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on him. He's 32 years old. He's got no kids. He was probably sitting at that table saying, I am in way over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet you he's really liking you and feeling you, but he's probably yes, not he ready to be. Yes, he loves the kids, actually. He's told me he's okay. all in. So then, like, so then just have a conversation with him. Say, you know, you, I mean, has he been around the kids since then? Yeah, we went out a couple of times, went out to the movies, hung out and stuff like uh -huh. that. So, yeah, he's getting a little bit more comfortable. Yes. But you can still tell he's a little bit nervous. Well, of course, he's only 32. <laughs> he's, he's dating a wanton woman with four kids. Uh, just have a conversation with him. Let him know, you know, when you come around the kids, you don't, you don't have to be nervous. Nervous in what way? Does he sweat? No, not at that extreme. <laughs> does, he, does he stutter? Not extreme. Just talk a little low, like, you know, like that. Okay. Well, he probably doesn't want to say the wrong thing. Maybe that. I'm you know? thinking. Yeah, he doesn't want to say the wrong thing. So, you know, just keep massaging him with the conversation that he can be re relaxed. And does he sleep over? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Well, just, you know, keep talking with him and let him know it's okay with the kids. Okay. All right? Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, no, you stand. How you doing? How you doing? Good. <laughs> My name is Regina. 
And my question is, my son treats me like a child, and my grown son. He tells me what to wear, who to see, what to do. Um, and my question is, I love him to death, but I want to know, how can I get him to start treating me like his child? Well, how old is he? He's 40. And oh. does he live with you? No, he doesn't live with <clears> me. <throat> but, uh, but every time he's around, he's telling me exactly what to do. He's never liked any man I had in my life. Well, does he understand that while, by you moving on with your life, you'll be better to him as a mother and as somebody who's happy in her own life? You need to have the... Is he married? Yes, he's married. We're a family. Okay, do you get along with his wife? I love his wife. Okay, this is a conversation that you share with his wife, and you make sure that his wife understands exactly how you feel. One day, if she's lucky enough, she, too, will be, you know, your age. Okay. And she would want happiness for herself. So have the conversation with his wife. I'm glad you get along with her. Okay. okay. Thank you, you Fred. So you're very welcome. Hey, how you, how doing? you doing? I saw your hair from way over there. It's really pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Can I wish my sister a happy birthday? Okay. Okay. Huh? <laughs> That's her. Yeah. Okay. My question is: My best friend, uh, 25 years. Um, anytime we have dinner parties at home, she brings her takeout containers. She starts uh, dishing out her food before dinner is even served, and she packs it up. Do we know each other already? It sounds like me. <laughs> you do that? Well, if I'm going someplace and I know the vittles are good, like, you know, my mom's, you know, who cooks really well, I always bring a container. But I don't dish stuff out until the food, until the dinner's over. Yeah. Have this conversation. You were with her for 25 years as friendship. Mm -hmm. Have the conversation. Put the containers down until after dinner is done to see what's left over. Okay? Thank you. Good luck.